Since you're watching a course about React, I'm going to assume that it's at least in part because you've heard about the large number of companies that have adopted this technology to build their websites, as well as all the React-related job postings that have opened up as a result. Now, I won't be too surprised if this is your main motivation for learning React. However, before we actually get to the learning, it's just as important to understand the purpose and benefits of React that have led to this widespread adoption in the first place. In other words, what is it about React that makes it worth the trouble for companies to invest their time and money into converting their websites over to React from whatever technology they were previously using, such as JSP, .NET, or even just vanilla JavaScript? Well, in order to answer this question, let's start off by taking a look at what exactly React is. React is an open source, front-end JavaScript library that was originally created by Facebook and still continues to be maintained by them as well as the open source community. React helps developers quickly create maintainable, performant applications. And as we'll see throughout this course, it abstracts away a lot of the nitty-gritty details associated with front-end development, and in particular with efficiently rendering web pages and updating them to reflect changes in the underlying data. React also allows developers to create modular components that can be used throughout our applications, which can drastically reduce the amount of code we end up writing. And among some of the other benefits of React is the fact that, as I mentioned, it's written in JavaScript. Despite the fact that JavaScript is looked down on by many developers of quote-unquote more refined languages, there's no denying the fact that JavaScript is both very popular and relatively easy to learn. And by the way, if you're not already familiar with JavaScript, I do have another live lesson course that you might want to check out before diving into this one. Another benefit of React is that it's been around for a good while. Its first release was in 2013, and while this might not sound like that long ago to anyone who's used to working with languages like C++ and the like, it's an eternity in terms of web development libraries. This means that React is one of those things where you can Google pretty much any error you're getting or anything you want to know, and you'll be able to find a lot of useful posts about it. But of course, it's not all sunshine and roses. React has undergone some fairly large changes recently, making many of the blog posts and other material that came before these changes largely irrelevant. But fear not, in this course I've made sure to address all of these changes and make sure you're aware of how things used to be, as well as how things are now in the React universe. In writing this course, I've done my best to ensure that you have the tools necessary to look at any React code, old or new, and immediately know what you're looking at and how to write it in the most modern way possible. So with all that said, let's get started and see what it's actually like to work with React and how to use it to build web applications.